Hi there, Steven from Subsplash Support here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the DroidCam OBS plugin and the DroidCam iOS app to stream to Subsplash Live. This is the highest recommendation we give for any mobile encoding setup, as some of the other apps that we used to recommend have either gone to monthly subscriptions or have been deprecated. This setup will give you the same flexibility in mobile capture as those other apps were giving you, but will also provide the stability, reliability, and control of settings that OBS provides. Before we start, there are going to be two things that we need to set up. We're going to need to download the DroidCam app on your iOS device, and you're also going to need to download the OBS plugin from their website. Both will be linked in the article below. Once you have those installed, you'll want to pull up your DroidCam app and have this setting over to the side so you can access this Wi-Fi IP and port number later. The next thing we'll want to do is come into OBS and select a scene. For this, I'm going to create a new scene and name it DroidCam. The next thing we'll do is come into the Sources menu, hit the plus icon, and then select DroidCam OBS. Note that you can connect multiple cameras using the DroidCam app, so we recommend naming the device the name of the phone or the model of the phone. In this case, I'm going to name it the model. Once I click OK, it'll pop up this Properties menu. Currently it is capturing, but I only have a black screen getting captured through my device right now. The next thing we'll do is select the resolution. We always recommend selecting the resolution that you're outputting at. So for me, I'm outputting at 720. We recommend leaving the other settings be, as they already match what we're expecting and recommending to use as closely as they can be. The only other thing we recommend changing is the Wi-Fi IP. That is going to be the address of the device sending OBS the stream. And that's why it's important to have the DroidCam app open right now. I'm going to input my IP address right here. Hit OK. And now it is going to be streaming. Once again, I'm only capturing a black screen on my iOS device right now. But once that's all added, you should be good to go. All you have to do after that is set up your stream output which is going to be your stream URL and key found in the media settings of the dashboard. And then you're going to want to adjust your settings. We also have an article that contains some presets that we'll link below that'll take control of all of these settings just to make setup easier for you. Once you're done, make sure to click apply and then OK, and you'll all be set up to stream. I hope you'll have a great day.